Hi guys, my name is Adwin Fair. We're presently on set of Wife Material, produced by Oyinye. Come on guys, it stars Nolly with top actors. Let's go inside and see what they are for us. Catch ya later. Presently on set of a new movie, we'd like you to tell us about it, your role and everything. Alright, so the name of this movie is um, Wife Material, produced by Udeze Oyinye, directed by Chris Enaj. So I'm playing Rita, who is the best friend of Ene in this movie, Wife Material. Rita is loving, Rita is supportive, and um, Rita has a bit of... Um, softness in her compared to the other friend Ojoma who is pushy, bossy and everything. So this movie generally speaks about um, a woman, Ene, who got dumped by her boyfriend because she wasn't domesticated enough. So throughout the movie she's trying to be more domesticated and trying to change herself for the man's acceptance. Eventually we find out that you don't need to change yourself, you know, for a man to accept you. If he loves you then he's going to love you and every of your baggage. So that's what this movie is about, generally. We are presently on set of Wife Material. Can you please tell us about it, your role and everything? I play the character Tony in the movie Wife Material. Wife Material is a story about a, about a couple of friends who are trying to turn their friend into what people call Wife Material. You know, which is supposed to be a term used to refer to any female that is wifeable, you know, that has the right attributes and behavior, um, um, attributes and behavior. Um, so I'm supposed to be that neighbor who is to help her um, achieve that wife material status.
presently on set, wife material. Okay, so tell us your role. What do you feel about the movie? Um, my role is the character is Ene, and um, she's actually the wife material matter thing in the movie. Um, from the name wife material, it's either your wife material or you're not. It's a character where a lot of people focus on their work and um, their businesses and a lot of people really don't know what it is to be wife material and when you want to marry and the, the man is ready to actually get married but he needs a wife material. Every man needs a wife material. But the two ways to it, can you manage someone who doesn't know how to cook and doesn't know how to do the house chores and um, is successful or do you want a wife material, a housewife? You know, so it's involving a character who really doesn't know how to cook, doesn't know how to do anything. She has all the long nails <laughs> and has all the makeup on and she's successful in her business and then she's in love with someone who is in love with her but not in love with the fact that she's not a wife material. So. He tries to break up with her and um, he actually broke up with her and then she started um, looking for how to stand in the sense that she had to um, start learning how to cook, how to clean, how to do chores. Um, she doesn't even know how to use the washing machine, which is almost the easiest thing to do. She puts all the clothes together and they all come out stained. You know, people who things have been done for them. And um, at the end of the day, she fell in love with the guy who was actually teaching her how to cook. And she was comfortable with the guy. So at the end of the day, the guy had a fiancé and she didn't know. So she was actually had broken. So basically, he was able to teach her how to cook and do all that stuff. And he says, you don't have to settle less for any man. If a man loves you for who you are, she loves you for what you are. Currently on the set of Wife Material, can you please tell us your role and the, what this movie is all about? Okay, my name is Jenny Uzoma. I'm an actor and uh, I played the role of Ojoma in the movie Wife Material, directed by Chris Eneng. Wife Material is basically about this girl. She's not domesticated enough. She has a relationship and the guy breaks her heart and then she tries to win the guy back. I'm not going to give out much. You'd have to watch the movie to find out. Okay, okay. Do you think cooking should be a yardstick for a man who wants to get married? My dear, different strokes for different folks. Okay, I've asked this question, you know, several times, even before this movie. A lot of people say, um, if I'm in love with her, I could teach her how to cook. I could send her to a cooking school. They're comfortable with it. Some people are like, no, my stomach comes first. And then some people are like, okay, if she's a housewife, she should be able to do this. And this time and age, most people are, you know, used to the fact that cook can actually employ cook and, you know, they come to the house. But there's some people who are still typical and native and they're like, my wife needs to know how to cook. Even if it's the smallest thing, at least she should be able to serve me. But some people are comfortable with it. I'm not here to criticize anything, but I think that love conquers all. And um, with love, you can actually, you can, you can have the time or everyone learns. It might not be her fault. It might be growing up and she was spoiled and they had cooks and all that stuff. And there was no time to go to the kitchen. It could be a lot of people who were domestic and were home and saw how their mom did things, you know. So I... I would not say it's, it's either a yardstick or not, but basically I'll be in the center. Okay, okay. That's true. There's some people who, they can actually love a man more than the woman who probably knows how to cook. And then it's not just cooking. There are other things that, you know, entails the wife material. So it's not just knowing how to cook or I know a situation where someone was dating someone for two years and all she did was buy food. And the man didn't know she was buying food until one day he found out plates and all that under the bed. And, you know, it, it, it was the end. So if you were truthful at the, at the beginning, I think um, a lot of things can be put in place. Walk out things together and that's how it, that's how it should work. Talking about love conquering all sin. Yes. I want to ask, is, should love be a reason why a woman should stay in a relationship or a marriage where she's experiencing domestic violence? Why are we open this domestic violence again? Um, I will say this, we're talking about domestic violence and this is very serious. A man hits a woman is domestic violence. A woman hits a man, what is it called? No, seriously, I love the topic. We are always about domestic violence and then it's all about the woman. Do you know that there are men who are more beaten up mentally than the women who they beat physically. I'm not, I'm not um, saying it's, it's advisable, but my dear, the truth of the matter is that sometimes some women are headstrong and they can actually traumatize their partner mentally that can actually make them run mad. And they probably do not know when they probably just hit. 
a lot of things happen in marriages. Marriage is not bed of roses. I'm not saying it's 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 a, it's it's good, but sometimes you need to work together to help the man. If the man is naturally a wife beater or a woman beater, there, for for you can actually help the man out of it. He probably must have experienced a lot of things growing up. And this time and age, you know, growing up, you must have seen one or two things and you inculcate it. But sometimes, let's not just put it on the man and, uh, alone. If um, a woman hits a man, what is it called? That's why overseas sometimes you see women beat the guys, but they can't do anything because they don't want to go to jail. But you see them on the street, don't you see them hitting the man, hitting the man, and all he does is just kind of dodge it. And what else? The next thing, they commit suicide. And the next thing, they commit a suicide. What made him commit a suicide? And why, what, what, what is it called when a woman hits a man? There are women who beat men up. But why don't they see it? They're not humans. That's the truth. I love this topic. It's, what, what is it called? Don't beat a woman. It's not advisable. But women help the men as well. And help them control their anger. And also help them to do things so that everything can actually fall in place. If your husband tells you, hey, I think this thing you're doing is too much. And you're headstrong. Uh -huh, so. And then sometimes their friends could actually advise them wrongly. And then you're, you're getting advice from a single person or a married person. Do you understand? It doesn't work that way. And then sometimes you need to read books, you need to Google on some things, ways to actually keep a man, ways to make him more happy. A man will not just marry you if he's not, if he's not in love with you. But when you get into the marriage, it's a different ball game. Sometimes I ask questions to married people, and I think, I think there's so many, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new ball game in marriage. So basically, when you're talking about violence, let's try to, um, how do I put it? True, okay? A man hits a woman. Oh, domestic violence. Oh, the woman hits the man. Mental violence. So basically, I think it's, it's a, it's a two-way thing. Work together. And then this could... It's not a biggie. Most times, these women, they push the men into doing things. Most times, the men are headstrong. Most times, these men are stubborn. Most times, they must have experienced stuff. Most times, they are frustrated. It could be any of them. But that's why you're married, for better or for worse. Work together and, and then help the man if that's the kind of person he is. And if the woman is that kind of person, stop it. That's why sometimes you see men, they leave marriage. They leave marriages and they go marry someone else because they don't want to hit the woman and they do not want to divorce. So they just say, get a second wife. So when you see that, most times when they get a second wife, you see the wife petting the man and all that stuff. That's men are babies. They just want to be, they want to be treated like babies. That's the truth. On the last note, I would like to ask, what's your advice to a woman who is presently experiencing domestic violence? Uh, Go out of it before it kills you. If it hits you once, it'll hit you again. You know, nobody's worth losing your life over. You know, nothing is what is... A lot of times, what holds us back is sentiment. What will people say? What would they say? But then, um, a living dog is better than a dead lion. So go out of it before it kills you. So what's your advice for a woman who is currently experiencing domestic violence? Wow, madam, you need to run. Domestic violence is not something you wish for anyone. Or more, that thing is terrible. Please, if you're experiencing such, run, run. Because there's no way he'll say, I'm not doing it again. It's a lie. He will do it again and again and again. And it's not your fault. Don't make any man think that, okay, it's because you talk too much. It's because you insulted him. It's because you are saucy or you are doing. It's not your fault. A beast is a beast. So don't think, okay, let me just stay in the house for a while and I will reduce the way I talk to him. I will not insult him again. I will behave myself. Eh -eh. Even if you behave yourself. He will still hit you again for some stupid other reason. So the best thing to do is to save yourself. Don't die in a man's house. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth all of it. Park your things. Uh, how many kids? Uh, okay. Even after many kids, God forbid the man now dies, uncle. <clears throat> Excuse me. So would you not still take care of your kids? Mm -hmm. So you now, if you now die, what will happen to your children? So if, even if you have 25 children, God will make a way. Just save yourself first. You have to stay alive. Even when you're in the plane, the, the, the people will tell you, if anything happens, save yourself first before you attend to another person. So please, I don't really support that. I don't like that. Domestic. I want to ask you this about domestic violence. What should a woman who is presently experiencing domestic violence, or a man who is experiencing, what should they do? In as much as I'm not going to advise or tell women to leave their home, I don't like broken homes, I don't come from one. But if he beats you, my dear, if he beats you the first time, that's a sign. Take to your heels. Take to your heels because he would never stop. We have lots of cases right now. They are even killing them these days. What if it's uh, the man in that shoe? 
<laughs> well, if a woman beats a man, domestic violence, I'm sure the man will be able to handle that. You guys, you say we are the weaker sex, Abby. My dear, I'm standing for the women, oh. For the men, we can beat you people. You people should take it. Take it, Joe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so talking about wife material, do you think um, being domesticated enough is um, a yastic for a man to choose a woman? Mm, I don't think so because you're getting married to your to your to a woman to a wife for companionship and you know for other reasons but don't make it primarily because she's supposed to be housemaid or something she's a wife she's a helpmeet you guys can help each other with uh, house chores and all it's not um, being domesticated so domesticated is not a criteria for for a good home it's not it's not I don't think so think so okay we let's not talk about a teen nurse as an instagram celebrity okay <laughs> okay okay has it been like the acceptance generally from people and how do you feel about what you have achieved so far with social media um um hmm. it's it's been awesome it's been a wonderful journey so far um sometimes i get so dazed by the love Sometimes I go out on the streets and, oh my God, that's you from um, the skit. I just saw your skit and all of that. Oh, you're real. I'm like, yeah, I'm a real human being. So I'm happy making people happy. I'm, I'm happy making people laugh, you know. And um, it's, it has made me meet some very important people, people I never thought, you know, I would meet in my life. I'm like, and they're like, you, I know you, you funny, crazy human being. I'm like, oh my God, he knows my name. You know, so it's it's been wonderful and making film, making videos makes me really happy as well. So for me, it's also very fulfilling and it has been rewarding. Would we say Etinosa is an actor or a comedian? Hmm. Question for the gods. <laughs> am I an actor or a comedian? I would I would say I am an actor. You know, I'm an actor who can act funny when I want to, and then I can act serious. An actor, a shapeshifter. A storyteller. So the comedy is only one branch of my acting. You understand? I'm an actor, I act everything, and comedy is just one branch. So I'm not just a comedian, not just a comic act, but an actor. Actor of the world. To the world. World actor. <laughs> All right, all right, thank you. There's this misconception out there about actors, marriage, so I'd like you to kindly help us clear the air. Would you would you advise your brother to let's say marry a, um, like with this thing that people say about actresses that when you marry them there's no two way about it. Is it that they cheat? Is it that the the marriage does not stay long or something? So can you please help us clear the air on that? All right, I'll say the broken marriage thing around actors is a bit overrated. Apart from actors, other people have failed relationships, they have failed marriages. Marriages crash almost every day out of Nollywood, inside Nollywood, around the world. So making it look like, oh, it's a Nollywood thing, I, I don't think it's fair. I think um, Nollywood marriages that fail are more publicized because, of course, the people are public figures. But marriage failing has nothing to do with what industry you belong to. So would you marry an actor? Of course, if I fall in love with an actor and I think we... It has nothing to do with, oh, if he's an actor. Yeah, I can marry. I, yeah, of course. You can. Okay, so tell us. Since you told us that you can marry an actor, tell us one, this celebrity actor that you have a crush on. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I don't think I have a crush on anybody. But I respect one actor a lot. I respect his craft. I... I adore him. Um, that would be Majid Michelle. So it's not a crush. It's not like, oh, I want to hold your hand. I want to know. Can I just, can I just put Majid in a box and just frame him in my house and just be watching? I, like the guy is, he gives me goosebumps when he's acting. Like, oh, Majid, you they act. That's that's the person that I I have um, a professional crush on, not um, amorous or anything. When it comes to, okay, crush, dream about the guy, no. I don't think I have any... Okay, okay, okay. It's I'll ask you now. Is there anything out there, a misconception about you out there that you would like to correct? Yes. Ah, thank you for that question. 
Uh, some time ago, the media twisted something I said some time ago, and you know they blew it out of proportion. And trust, trust Nigerians. We always celebrate bad news um, over good news or good works. So uh, it's a very touchy topic. And I, all I'll say is, you guys just go and check UNICEF. What UNICEF said on that same topic, and you see that I wasn't so far from the truth. And it wasn't fair that, you know, everything was twisted out of proportion. I was not like I was supporting that. I would never support that. But I was giving people a way of escape. I was giving adult women a way of escape from such situation. If you cannot escape physically, you escape in your mind. And I still stand by what I said the other day. I'm not going to tell you what it was. So if you don't know it, just forget. People that know what I'm talking about, go and check what UNICEF said. You don't fight. You don't get bruised. Just relax escape from your mind that's what i'm saying and i'm still saying that would you say um being domestic catered enough is should be a yastic for a man to take a woman well to each his own i there are clearly no um indices um for measuring the success of a great marriage so to each his own a lot of people think yes it's necessary a lot of people don't there i have male friends that can't that can cook um, and won't mind if their wife doesn't cook because they enjoy cooking so it's not a yardstick per se it's just what works for you you know it's um, different strokes for different just folks to really. you know it for me it doesn't matter you know um, my personal life my personal life so what i like i like you know what i don't i don't um but as to regards regards others you know what works find out what works for others because what works for me might not work for you um, let's talk about Nollywood right now. We see a series of movies. Do you think people are really... And someone was saying there's no depth in what we are producing in Nollywood. What would you say about that? Well, uh, all the movies that come from Hollywood as well are not actually from Hollywood. They're you know pretty much um, low-budget productions, independent productions. So right now, Nollywood is evolving and we're growing and people are shooting according to their budget. When people say they don't have Debt. What do you mean, debt? You know, we also don't have the budget to film. The government don't support us enough. The corporations don't support us enough. So we also don't have that. If we have Superman budget, who we, we'll shoot Shango? You know, so we don't have the budget to shoot what we want to to shoot. But I always say this: we're not where we want to be, but we're certainly not where we used to be. We just support the industry. We're growing, and you know, take our time and support the good works that we're doing. Anything new for Alex this year? I've been, I've, you know, been constantly filming back to back, um, releasing new movies. Um, uh, next month, June 9th, we'll be releasing um, Lost in London, movie produced by Uduak Wamanam. Um, stars my humble self, Funny Bone, and Okun, Okun Lagos. And then um, uh, shortly afterwards, we'll be releasing London Fever as well, the movie produced um, um, by my godson, and stars me and him as well, and has a bunch of. Talent. You is there anything we should expect from your project? I'm releasing movies, you know. I'm constantly releasing movies every day, and you know that's what I'm currently on set filming right now. Um, so yeah, it's just all about work for me. Yeah, I, I was actually saying I was going to ask you this whenever I see you that you kind of like this comedian thing now. Your Instagram pages and everything. I'm like, is Alex not a comedian or something? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I always say this, you know. I'm I'm not a comedian. I'm just an actor with comedic timing. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we should not expect. Maybe next year we'll see stand up comedian. I don't know. And, uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just don't expect me to see. To see don't expect to see me being a Mr. Ibu or, you know, those are, you know, comedians, you know. I'm just an actor with comedic timing and I, I have a, a funny bone, so yeah. Okay. Do you think um, being domesticated enough is a yastic for a man to marry a woman? Well, my dear, this is the 21st century. Right. A woman should be able to put her home together. But I mean, not not completely, not totally. We have career women now. The, the men should be supportive as well. It's a 50-50 thing. You know, you don't expect the woman to just be caged inside the house, doing all the housework. While women go out these days. Women do things these days. Women achieve a lot these days. So I believe it's 50-50. So you feel uh, what you're saying in essence is a woman can go to work and a, and a man should be at home cooking for her? 
No, come on. I haven't said that. I just said it should be 50-50. If the woman is working, the man could be a stay-at-home dad, a stay-at-home husband, or he could also be a working husband. He should be supportive. It's, they should you know, come together to make the family a living place. It's not, we are not in the medieval times, archaic times, when the woman's place was just you know, in the other room. <laughs> Hi, my name is Etiosa Idemudia. I'm an actor and comedian. Keep watching Broadway TV. Hello, my name is Empress Njomer and you are watching Broadway TV. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Alex Akubo. I'm an actor and you're watching Broadway TV. Keep watching. Hello, my darlings. My name is Jenny Uzoma. I'm an actor. Keep watching Broadway TV. Keep it locked.